Hello. Today we ask Reddit what happened to the smart kid at your high school. Make sure to stick around until the end of the video to hear my opinion on this topic as I was considered one of the smartest kids in high school. I highly doubt anyone will stick around that long but if you are interested you can always skip to this time. Enough of me waffling let's see what happened to the nerds. He's a NASA scientist, while I just come on Reddit. I heard that the smartest guy in my class worked at NASA too. I just looked up his LinkedIn and he's a mechanical engineer who works in manufacturing. Nothing aerospace related. Still much more impressive than anything I've ever done. When you're in high school, you assume that aerospace engineering equals building the next rocket, i.e. do what Elon pretends to know how to do. When you actually take engineering classes and work in the industry, you realize that 90% of what you're actually going to be doing is part of a design for a toilet lid or a PC case for potential space use. Source, two different buddies who spent time at NASA and have left since. So if you're really into the actual design side of things and making things efficient, manufacturing and or industrial engineering is where the hands-on engineering more often happens. He was actually quite overweight. When he left for college, he was studying physics. Couple of years later, I learned that he lost 175 pounds, became super into fitness, dropped out of college and became a gym trainer. Physics to physiques. Learned how to lift with the proper angles. He lives in the same small village he was living in when we were in school, is married with kids and apparently works in an office in the nearest town. He had aspirations of becoming a surgeon when we were in school, it didn't happen, but it sounds like he's living a good life regardless. Became a doctor, decided it wasn't for her and went to law school. Is currently a barrister as far as I know. I couldn't tell you what 99% of people from my high school are doing now. Lol I got ya beat. I can honestly say that I have zero idea what 100% of the people I went to HS with are up to now. I graduated 22 years ago, the moment I was done I was done lol. I read this and thought, 22 years ago. Damn, that is a long time ago. I wonder how long ago I graduated. Quote. Turns out it was 22 years ago too. We are old. Try. 38 years ago. I believe the class valedictorian died of a drug overdose after being allowed the freedom to make her own choices I suspect. The smartest kid in my high school class was definitely not the valedictorian. Same here. Surprisingly ours was outside smoke and pot but ended up an early Simi Valley entrepreneur computer whiz. Sold his business. Dot now is consulting. Dot the good kind with young computer engineers and leading them to their next best steps great human being. Funny as ever and definitely not the valedictorian type. Yeah or valedictorian. The most prestigious college, she went to Princeton if I recall but the kids who ended up doing the most interesting things, including the more intellectual pursuits were much further down on the list, including one kid who worked on the Perseverance Mars probe and one who worked on the Uber self-driving car program. The one kid who became a lawyer didn't make very many waves during high school. I only knew she existed because we were on the cross-country team together. Our football team captain became a physician's assistant and the popular girl who was lead in all the school plays had a short-lived acting career playing the victim on those murder reenactments for the true crime TV shows, before she became a staffer for Jimmy Kimmel. Both of whom were very smart and charismatic. He went on to study business and Chinese and now he's a businessman in China. That's certainly a thing you would do with that education. I still talk to him. He's a good friend of mine, still. He's an engineer at Google now. I am not. I graduated in a class of 18 people. I was co-valedictorian. Thanks to social media and my mother sending me the local paper for years, I can tell you what happened to all of them. Two are dead. Three are in jail, including my co-valedictorian, child molestation. 3 work in healthcare, RNs and radiologists, etc. 1 is a FEMA inspector, she's in Kissimmee right now. 2 work for the Cherokee Nation. 1 is a roofer. 1 has been fired as a jail guard, violence toward inmates and kicked out of a church as pastor for embezzlement. 1 is a high school basketball coach. 
One is an openly gay cop in Austin, which I find fascinating considering where we came from. Two are meth heads who dropped off the map. And I got college scholarships, left my shitty town for an English degree and the promise of the great American novel. Instead I became a college advisor, married a college professor, had a great kid later in life, and then semi-retired last year to be the single cook at my son's small private school. Today I made sour cream chicken enchiladas with a roasted tomatillo sauce from scratch. Truly living my best life. Hashtag class of 88. Died of a heroin overdose freshman year in his dorm room at Ohio State. Not my class, but the grade below. Valedictorian, took a ton of easy classes, and beat out the salutatorian who took way more difficult AP classes. She ended up going to a community college, got pregnant quick, and isn't doing much. Salutatorian, went to MIT, and is a legit rocket scientist. Valedictorian, she went on to find she was pregnant two months after her graduation. She declined college scholarships because her boyfriend made her a stay-at-home mom. She got jailed for two years for assault. Husband got the kids when he got out of the hospital. She got five years. Now she tries to hit you up on Facebook and indeed for marketing opportunities for her moms. Salutatorian, he went to MIT on full ride. And now designs cooling systems and filtration systems for NASA. Basically his job is to make sure it doesn't look like a snow globe in the shuttles. He had a twin. His identical twin is now a department manager for the eat department at Walmart. Somewhat similar to our valedictorian and salutatorian. Valedictorian, didn't go to college. Ended up being a stay-at-home mom. Salutatorian, went to a public state school for his bachelor's. Then to Carnegie Mellon for master's and PhD. Worked at Google for over five years doing AI stuff. Left Google to start his own AI company with another person and ended up getting tens of millions from investors. I don't know, do people really keep track of what happened to their classmates? That was my question but then social media wasn't much of a thing when I was in high school either. I had a graduating class of about 300 and have kept in moderately good contact with about a half dozen or so despite moving around the country quite a bit. One of them was probably the smartest in my class, she was the only National Merit Scholar finalist we had. She went to law school as a mid-career change and had a pretty successful career, mostly in commercial real estate law. Interestingly, I also knew the smartest person in the class which graduated the year before us. She too became a lawyer and represents kids hurt in a specialized area of medical malpractice. Having gone to a big high school in smaller city in a very rural area, I'm guessing that pretty much every one of the smartest kids either killed themselves by drinking and driving, or became a lawyer. I actually did. I was never super close friends with him but always saw potential so thought maybe I could bring him into a business one day so I followed him on social media and kept contact with him. I've always been the entrepreneur, marketing type and this guy was just a genius. Through high school and college we had classes together and he is truly to this day the smartest guy I've ever known, like Savon Smart, but still has good social skills and was a cool dude. In our advanced calculus and chem classes when I was struggling to even pass he would be getting 100% on tests or 115% after the teacher's curve so the rest of us mortals could squeeze by with a 70%. He also never had to study, he just naturally understood all the material. It was crazy impressive. He ended up studying physics at Berkeley and of course graduated top of his class. He now works as an insurance adjuster for Geico or Progressive or something like that making 70k. IDK if he just doesn't know how to utilize his knowledge or what but one of these days if I can come up with the right idea to utilize him he's the first one I'm recruiting. Kills me to see such a smart guy wasting away at a desk job. He had a offer to work on a nuclear submarine I shit you not. But he failed the drug test. The last person he smoked with. Me. I felt horrible. Not my class, like 15 years after I graduated. I visited my HS to see an old teacher who was retiring. While talking to the principal he tells me about this student who was legit one of the most brilliant students the school had had in decades. He wanted to be a chef. I am one. 
cut to the graduation and he is due to give his speech. The one they approved was totally dropped. He gave a scathing tirade against all the teachers for not supporting him and kept pushing him to not follow his dreams and to just go to regular college. I heard it was brutal. Kid had a scholarship to several top culinary programs already, his family owned a successful restaurant. He is a happy chef. His family doesn't support the school anymore. My year's smart folks are all married and grandparents by now. Sometimes the smartest people are the ones who figure out what would make them happy, and they do that. The valedictorian at my colleague's school decided to skip college, move to some island in the Caribbean and sell fruit on the beach. Some people get stuck on intelligence means to pursue a difficult subject with tougher barriers of entry and make significant income. Just be smart enough to decide what you want in life and figure out what would make you happy earning to make that life happy. He took six years to finish college and graduated with a chemical dependency problem that took another six years to get over. He has a low-key job now and is reliable, if unremarkable. Some would say he never realized his potential, but he's content and doesn't really care what people say. Pretty much exact same situation except I can't find a job cause I can't imagine working in a set time and with people so I'm just doing a PhD instead. The pay is shit. I am constantly stressed out and getting high on the regular now for I don't even know why and I DK anyone who is willing to hire someone my age with no life or work experience. Well time to see what happened to me. I was never valedictorian of my school, but I was considered quite smart in both high school and college. I am about to enter the work world and my biggest fear is that my potential will be wasted and I will be stuck in a dead-end job. I know I still have time to write my life, but I always have this gnawing thought in my head that because I have never really succeeded in my entrepreneurial pursuits. I have failed in many things I care about and I hope this pattern will not continue in my future. Despite this, I hope to continue to try and grind on my passions and hope that one day it will work out. If you have any advice comment it down below on how to deal with this. I would love to hear. I thank you for sticking around this long and listening to my biggest fear. I greatly appreciate it and I hope you like and subscribe for more content. Comment any advice you may have for me or whatever happened to the nerd at your high school. Until next time.